hi everyone uh, today uh, what we are going to see in this video how to handle uh, long running queries in oracle apex uh, for example uh, recently i faced these kind of issues in my uh, apex 19 versions uh, i'm just trying to run the uh, oracle ebs concurrent program in oracle apex that uh, ebs uh, concurrent program it takes almost uh, one and a half minute to complete the process uh, once the process is completed, I have updated some uh, status into the backend table and also I am just planning to uh, display the message in uh, 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 in the uh, uh, front end page of Oracle Apex. But unfortunately, I am not able to do that. So for that, I just bring some uh, custom or current solution to solve these kind of issues. So without delay, uh, let me uh, uh, tell you how can I uh, achieve this. So first thing is, I am just going to copy this uh, inline CSS into the inline section. So I am pasting this query, save. So here I am just giving some custom messages like loading, please wait. So this will be the message it will, uh, it will display in the screen until the concurrent program gets completed. So second thing is I am going to uh, paste these javascript functions uh, in the function global declaration. Uh, here you can see like two kind of uh, functions. One is for uh, it will ask for the confirmation dialog from the end user. When the user uh, clicks the ok then only it will initiate the process. The second process it will not ask any confirmation dialog. Once the user clicks the uh, submit button it will initiate the process okay and click ok save next i am going to create uh, two two buttons uh, create button i am given as submit one yes, org, stop and uh, again i am going to create another button This is my uh, uh, behavior of that actions of that button. Uh, going to the behavior, click redirect to URL and paste this code. So submit one will be the uh, button name. Click OK. And here I'm going to behave paste the behavior. So here I put it as submit to this is the button name and here I uh, giving some custom messages like are you sure want to proceed uh, in case if you want to uh, customize your messages you can uh, display it uh, put it here click ok save Uh, third thing is I'm, I have created some uh, dummy process uh, I'm going to uh, so I just create one uh, page process and put it in this over here Click OK so uh, this is the main uh, thing uh, that I have handled in this, inside the process for example uh, think like this will be the our uh, apex process so once the apex process is uh, going we are uh, giving some concurrent uh, we are just starting our ebs process okay so uh, think like uh, ebs process running okay so uh, once the ebs process is get completed after that i am just checking for uh, the ebs table uh, whether the status is gets completed or failed uh, something like this so uh, here uh, these these three four uh, lines will be the uh, main uh, main thing uh, which helps to uh, ideally freeze the uh, screen until the concurrent program gets completed okay so here i am just checking for the uh, status of uh, from the table whether it is staging and also api message is null and i will keep on continuing the loop 
okay so when uh, our concurrent program gets completed i am updating one table as uh, completed based on the completed status i am exit the loop okay so here based on the uh, success messages i am displaying i am just printing some notification messages okay here you can see so click okay uh, here i put it as submit one submit two click save okay okay uh, when i am going to click the submit two it will ask for the confirmation dialog okay before into that let me show you the uh, concurrent staging table something so i uh, for our assumption i created some dummy table in the back end uh, instead of doing of concurrent program i i just uh, waiting for few few more seconds after that i will manually update the status okay so here i am going to click the submit to uh, it will ask for the uh, confirmation dialog uh, i hope you already have a uh, when the end user click the cancel it will not initiate the process when the end user click the ok it will initiate the process so in this case uh, it will uh, give you our custom message like loading please wait ok uh, so i am going to click the ok see you he, here you can see the message called loading please wait ok so until the concurrent program will get completed uh, it will uh, it will freeze the screen and displaying the loading please wait ok now i am what i am going to do like i am just uh, manually updating the table as completed okay when i uh, manually updated this automatically the screen will get uh, uh, the process will get completed and it will display the success message so for example here i am manually updating the statement and now you can able to see like uh, request approved submitted to oracle start time end time so even though if your process are taking so much time to uh, get completed and based on the uh, backend uh, procedure or package you want to display some uh, messages you can uh, use this custom solution so let me show you again now you can see as yes, uh, select star from dummy i am going to update a staging something okay now i am just clicking the cancel uh, in the, now I am going to click the submit one it will doesn't ask any uh, uh, confirmation dialog now you can see the screen is loading please wait ok so uh, here uh, when I am going to uh, manually update the uh, status uh, based on the status it will uh, close the process and display our uh, message now you can see like I put it as submitted to submitted So I am going to execute the statement run. Now you can see the process get completed and also you can see the uh, submit button and also you can able to see the running time of start time like it will start as 17.28.08 and uh, it will get completed at 17.28.39. Okay. Uh, so I hope uh, uh, you have uh, I enjoyed this video. So thank you so much for watching.